Hey guys, it's Chris at Highline Guitars and it's time for a Luthier's Quick Tip. If you'd like to support my guitar building YouTube channel, visit eGuitarPlans.com and buy a plan. A link is in the description below. Now on with the video. In this episode, I'm going to be picking up where I left off in the last episode of Luthier Quick Tips, where I had talked about using a predicted level of DC resistance in order to decide on how many turns of coil wire I need to put on a bobbin or bobbins for an electric guitar pickup. I also explained how DC resistance can be used to kind of get my foot in the door as far as the tone that I'm after, but it can't be relied on as a sole indicator for tone because it doesn't take into account the effects of the magnet and a magnet's strength. In this episode, what I'm going to be talking about is how I use a different measurement to further dial in the tone that I'm trying to achieve with the pickups that I make. So let me bring you in closer and I'll show you what I'm talking about. Now the measurement that I'm going to be using from this point forward is inductance. And I have to use a special meter to read inductance. And this is a Proster BM4070 LCR tester. And this can actually test both resistance as well as inductance. And if you're interested in one of these, I'll put an affiliate link down in the description below so you can go check it out. But I'm going to be testing the same pickup that I tested in the last episode, which is this humbucker that I wound. And I have it right now set to test resistance so that I can show you what that resistance level was. And when I measure it, it comes out to roughly 7.62 ohms, uh, K ohms. It's actually 7,620 ohms of DC resistance. And remember, this doesn't take into account the magnet that's installed in the pickup. And in this case, I have installed an Alnico 5, a fully charged Alnico 5 magnet into the pickup. So what I can then do is switch it to measure inductance. And as you can see here, the inductance is 4.42. Now this number is related to the measurement of Henry's. And what inductance is, is it's basically how the signal that passes through the coil is resisted by the magnetic field that's generated by the flow of that electrical signal. You don't even need to have a magnet present. If an, ele if an electrical signal passes through the coils, even without a magnet, it's going to generate its own magnetic field, and that field is going to resist the signal as it's passing through. Now, what that typically means is, for a pickup maker, is that certain frequencies in that signal are going to be clipped. They're going to be cut. They're going to be blocked from going through that affects how the pickup is going to sound. Now the general rule of thumb is the higher this measurement in Henry's is, the darker the pickup is going to sound. The lower the number, the brighter it's going to sound. Now a traditional Stratocaster or Telecaster single coil pickup is going to probably yield a measurement of somewhere between two and three Henry's, and that's why Strat and Tele pickups sound brighter. A humbucker is going to have a higher number, usually anywhere from 3.5 to 6 and beyond, and that's what's going to give you that darker tone. And this, of course, is affected by the type of magnet that we install into the pickup. Now, to give you an idea of how the magnet will affect the, else, the uh, inductance reading. What I'm going to do is I'm going to pop out this Alnico 5 magnet. And remember, it was showing 4.43. Now here, without the magnet, you can see it's dropped down to 4.11. When I install the ceramic magnet, it drops from that 4.43 down to 4.09. Since this number is a little bit smaller, the pickup is now going to sound a little bit brighter than it would have sounded with the Alnico 5 magnet in it. And if I switched out to, say, an Alnico 2 or 3 or 4, I would get different readings 
that would correspond to the strength of the magnet. A ceramic magnet is much stronger than an alnico. As a result, that stronger magnetic field is going to make it possible for the signal that's passing through the coil to carry more of the treble frequencies as it travels out of the guitar and into the amplifier. And that's why the ceramic magnet will sound brighter in the pickup than the Alnico 5. So how this helps guitar make or pickup makers is it gives us the ability to try different magnets in the pickup as we make it in order to decide which magnet is going to give us the best tone. Now, of course, when you're making like a Stratocaster or a Telecaster pickup, the magnets are already installed. However, you can charge those magnets to different levels in order to fine tune your inductance reading and therefore the final tone that that pickup is going to generate. To summarize, inductance is a much better measurement than DC resistance when it comes to predicting the potential tone of a pickup before we install it into a guitar. And we use inductance because it actually takes into account the type and strength of the magnetic field that's present in the pickup, whereas DC resistance doesn't. The way pickup makers will use inductance is it allows us to fine tune the tone by changing the magnets so that we can actually raise or lower the inductance in order to get closer to either a brighter or darker sounding pickup. And remember, with inductance, the lower the number, the brighter the pickup will sound. The higher the number, the darker it will sound. When it comes to trying out different magnets in a pickup, that's pretty easy to do if it's a humbucker or a P90 because they're just bar magnets and you can replace them easily. You can go with ceramic, you can go with any of the Alnico magnets like two, three, four, or five, even an eight. However, with single coil pickups like you would find in a Stratocaster or a Telecaster, the slugs are the magnets themselves and can't be easily changed. However, with some experience, you'll get a feel for how these different types of, of magnets can affect the tone. So you'll kind of get an idea of what you should start out with to, in the beginning. But what you can also do is you can tweak the strength of the magnet. And in the next episode, I'm going to talk about some uh, techniques that I use for either increasing or decreasing the strength of a magnet. And this will work for slug magnets that you find in your single coils, as well as the bar magnets that are used in humbuckers and P90s. And we can vary the strength of those magnets in order to really dial in that last little bit of uh, what we are hoping to achieve when it comes to designing the tone for the pickups. So stay tuned for that. In the meantime, if you have any comments or questions about what I've just been talking about, post them down below and either I or someone in the community will try to answer it for you. If you don't already subscribe to my channel, please by all means hit that subscribe button and be sure to hit the bell notification so that you'll get an email each time I post up a new episode, which is roughly twice a week. And until the next episode, Take care, stay safe, and I'll see you soon.